Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So let us um, continue the discussion on turbofan engine. So we have uh, looked at uh, the performance analysis or the thermodynamical analysis of turbofan engine. So now there are uh, different uh, variant of turbofan engine which are possible. So the one which uh, now we are going to discuss on now is the uh, mixed flow engine. So then uh, from mixed flow, so this means that uh, the mixed flow engines where uh, which suggest as the name suggest that the hot and cold mixed gases they are mixed. So there could be of two types of that kind of engine either it could be single spool or it could be two spool. So, previously it was used in military application, but these days it is used in also civilian aircraft and pretty much in all military aircraft. Typically one of the example is CFM 56 series which is a two spool engine of uh, civilian aircraft. So, it is just like the cold air which is coming out of the fan for the cold part which is not going to be exiting out that will be mixed somewhere. So, let us uh, look at that we start with the two spool mixed flow engine. So, that is uh, we will just uh, look at that then the single spool would be much more easier. And uh, if you look at the schematic, so this would be the schematic of that. Uh, let us say we have this and then that goes out comes here here the comes and then we have this one comes here goes like that uh, goes like that and then the second set which will be there this will go like this. So, here is the combustion chamber and then this is there. So, now we can mark the station this is a typical layout of two spool uh, mixed turbo fan. So, let us say this is station A, this would be 2, then we come here that is 3, come here 4, 5, 6, then 7, we have 8, uh, 9, we get 10 and somewhere 3 prime just to and the TS diagram for the same if you look at that. So, we starting here at A goes to not 2 goes to 10 then in between not 3 goes 4 5 6 7 so so let's do it properly. So, this 
so seven summer eight and then we get nine. So that is how the TS diagram would look like and uh, so one requirement is that for the analysis mixing process are equal static pressures and also equal velocities. So thus from the layout what we can say two conditions are specified one is P3 prime is P7 and then uh, what we do like another one is in the velocity is V3 is uh, V7. So, which means there is no pressure loss in the bypass duct connecting the coal and hot stream and no pressure loss in the mixing process. Then what we can write is that P03 prime equals to P07 which is P08. Now, if losses exist in the fan bypass duct, if there are losses exist in fan bypass duct, then what we can do P naught 10 minus delta P fan duct. So, what we can get then is P naught 3 prime. So, one more thing, so no pressure drop which is considered, no pressure drop uh, during mixing process. So, that is another uh, important factor that there is no pressure drop which are considered during mixing process. So, what we can write now energy balance for low pressure spool. So, again we are considering the mechanical efficiency of eta m 1 and lambda 1 would be the uh, conversion factor, then fan plus w l p c would be eta m 1 lambda 1 w l p t. Okay. So, which straight away now we have enough uh, expression or so far we have looked at in details. So, we will typically put it straight uh, T naught 2 plus m dot a uh, m dot a C p c T naught 3 minus T naught 10 equals to eta m 1 lambda 1 m dot a 1 plus a C p h T naught 6 minus T naught 7. Similarly, uh, if we do the energy balance for the energy balance for high pressure spool, which is again we consider lambda 2 eta, uh, eta m 2, uh, then what we write W h p c lambda 2 eta m 2 W h p t, which straight away one can write m dot a c p a t naught 4 minus t naught 3 which would be eta m 2 lambda 2 m dot a 1 plus f c p h t naught 5 minus t naught 6. So, the third it is the mixing process which one has to consider. Now, in the mixing process what happens the hot gases leaving the low pressure turbine, 
and the cold gas air uh, leaving the bypass duct are mixed. So, if you look at this, this is where the this is the hot gases coming, this is where the cold gases coming and they mix at station 8. So, both the core of the engine now from the first law of thermodynamics what we can write enthalpy at there plus 7 would be enthalpy at 8. Okay. So, 7 is in the core and this is in here. So, what we write like beta m dot h C P C T naught 3 plus m dot h 1 plus f C P H T naught 7 equals to m dot h 1 plus beta plus f C P H T naught so, this should be uh, this is uh, beta is so m dot h means whatever going through the hot portion of the engine. So, that gives us back beta C P C T naught 3 plus 1 plus a C P H then C P H T naught 7 equals to 1 plus beta plus A C P H T naught 8. Now, one can do that uh, or basically uh, like uh, better evaluation of the gas properties after mixing. So, we can do the mass weighted average. So, mass weighted average. So, if you take the at station 8 the mass weighted average what we get get C p at 8 would be 1 plus f C p 7 plus beta C p 3 divided by 1 plus f plus beta. Similarly, R 8 would be 1 plus f uh, R 7 plus beta R 3 divided by 1 plus f plus beta and gamma 8 would be C p 8 C p 8 minus R 8. Now, considering the real gas of mixing uh, where normally the losses are encountered and a pressure drop is associated with the mixing process and such pressure losses are either given or as a value of delta p mixing or as a ratio in the mixing process. So, then what we can write P naught 8 is P naught 7 minus delta P mixing or we can write P naught 8 equals to R m into P naught 7, where R m is less than 1. Typical values are around 0.98 something like that. So, that is R m is the mixing <coughs> ratio of the uh, mixing process. Now, we can check the nozzle choking condition. So, we have already mentioned so many times whether the nozzle is choked or not. If so, we have to look at the critical pressure, nozzle is unchoked, then the exit velocity at V9 this would be now 2 gamma C R T naught 8 eta n gamma c minus 1, 1 minus P a by P naught 8 gamma c. Okay. 
and if nozzle is choked then V 9 is quite straightforward. this would be gamma c or T 9 or 2 gamma c by gamma c plus 1 or T naught 8 and um, equivalent thrust force which is given as m dot a 1 plus a plus beta v 9 minus 1 plus beta u plus a 9 p 9 minus p a. So, that is what happens what you get and then also we can find out T S F C m dot f by t. So, that is how one has to look at the mixed flow engine. Now, another one could be the same engine where we can use for the with the sort of an with after burner. So, this is another engine where you have you have mixed turbo fan with up turbiner there. So, this I mean military aircrafts are powered by low bypass ratio turbo fan fitted with up turbiner, um, but um, so that is one of the important condition for the military application that the you need prop certain acceleration maneuvering and all such thing. So, if you look at this diagram this is starting from the intake this is a fan then this is a fan duct you have the core of the engine where compressor, combustor, turbine then there is a mixing and after mixing there is a after burner which is sitting there before it is allowed to pass through the nozzle. So, which means say whenever we have looked at so far before um, unmixed uh, turbo fan when we looked at uh, previously in unmixed turbo fan you have up turbine and sitting after the turbine, but now in the mixed where the hot and cold uh, gases are mixed then the up turbine is used to re energize the incoming hot gases here and then pass through the nozzle and there are multiple like this kind of things like Pratt and Whitney has an sort of an um, series which for example, uh, uh, let us say they have F 100, 220, then they have F 100, 229, they have 232 different series, then Eurojet has E J 200, G has F 110, Rolls Royce has uh, M K 104, Russian engine is R D 133. So, there are different engine manufacturer, but one thing by this time it should be clear there are only few engine manufacturer because whenever we pull up this information every time when you look at these things um, that this uh, when we talk about all this we have either uh, Pat and Whitney or General Electric which are US based company and we have Snakema which is uh, France. Uh, then you have um, uh, Rolls Royce which is UK company and or the Russian engines uh, like this. So, there are only few engine manufacturers which actually produce engine and now this guy is essentially one can think about it is a forward fan mixed after burning low bypass ratio. So, low bypass ratio turbo fan engine. So, this is a low bypass ratio turbo fan engine. So, quickly we can uh, look at the block diagram of this one. The block diagram will give you an idea about like if I look at the block diagram how to do the analysis. Maybe we are not going to carry out the detail analysis because this would be pretty much similar, but only thing once you have the um, TS diagram and the other stuff probably one can. So, one, two, Two, then you have two to three, three to four, then uh, four to you go to 
let us say 5, then you come to 6, then which is go to 9, then 6 comes to somewhere uh, this is 8 and then 9 comes to uh, 10. So, that is the T s diagram and one can see that T s diagram and then so the other thing is that put the like the block diagram also. So, what will happen by looking at the T s diagram block diagram would be quite easy like you have intake where you get m 1 t 1 you get p 1 from intake you go to fan where you have p naught 2 t naught 2 then you have m dot a c which is cold then you have fan pressure ratio pi f now from fan it goes to sort of an P naught 3 and T naught 3 which goes to compressor. Then there is a compressor pressure ratio, then from compressor you goes to combustion chamber, this takes you P naught 4 and T naught 4 where you inject um, M dot F now from there it comes down to sort of a turbine so turbine it comes p not 5 it says t not 5 and then also at the same time the fan it goes compressor from where this also goes that is uh, W c and also fan this is W f. So, this goes in then in between there could be here is the mixer. So, mixer it goes T naught 6 P naught 6 and also some values and you have duct. Now, duct get input from T naught 3, it get input from P naught 3 and then duct. So, here we just little bit we have P naught 6, let us say T naught 6, from duct also this goes and then here it goes T naught 7 goes P naught 7. Okay. From mixture what comes out is goes to A B and that comes out P naught 8 t not 8 and then you inject here m dot f a b after burner finally it goes to nozzle where it enters p not 9 and this is t not 9 and you get t not 10 v 10 and this goes here. So, that is um, pretty much a block diagram that you can see uh, and that probably. So, this also one can think this is a single pool. So, that is why single pool. Now, similarly, 
if you look at a two spool then the diagram would uh, look slightly different it just let's say if a two spool mixed turbo fan plus ab so if you look at that so that would be like here is the cg then you have it so that goes so here is the combustion chamber and that is connect and maybe this one slightly we can extend and this is where probably we have after burner. So, this is station 1 A A then uh, this could be 2 here is 3, 4, 5, 6, then this is 7, 8, then this is 10, after burner it would be 11, finally it is 12. So, that is how it looks like. And similarly, for uh, this case, the TS diagram would be can be drawn similarly, like this is starting A, it goes to 2, 2 to 10, then 3, 4, 5 comes 6, then 6 to 7, somewhere 8, and then this goes somewhere 11. So, 8 it comes like 9 or it comes to 12. So, this is how this diagram would like same conditions necessary for mixture which we have already discussed. So, for uh, same stands for ideal condition, um, ideal condition it would be P not 10 which would be P not 7. P not 8, P not 8. Normally, mixing process is associated with pressure loss, which can be taken into consideration by delta P mixing. And then, or we can write P not 8 equals to R m into P not 7, where R m is less than 1. So, P not 1 is the total pressure at the outlet of the after burner and outlet temperature would be T not 11 which is also probably known in advance. So, because that may be the maximum temperature which allows to have the engine because of the material consideration and, um, but this could be quite higher than the um, this engine and quickly doing the mass balance for after burner fuel L ratio would be M dot F B by M dot C plus M dot H. So, NRD balance would give us C P 11 T naught 11 minus C P 8 T naught 8 eta after burner Q heating value C P 11 T naught 11 or P 9 A would be P naught A minus delta P A B and so again the nozzle should be checked for these things 
um, and V12 would be 2 Cp 11 T naught 11 1 minus P A by P naught 11 gamma 11 minus 1 by gamma 11 and thrust would be m dot v 12 minus m dot a v infinity, where m dot a is defined at m dot c plus m dot h plus 1 plus a plus m dot a b, which is m dot c plus 1 plus f 1 plus f a b. So, the thrust force we can rewrite m dot c plus m dot h 1 plus f 1 plus f a b b 12 minus m dot c plus m dot h into v infinity. So, also similarly for the two spool uh, tab of fan with after burner can be calculated. So, we will um, uh, stop the discussion here and continue this discussion for other uh, different kind of configuration in the next lecture.